What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, we have five fragrances from the house of Premier Note. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning into BFL today as always. I really do appreciate it and hope you're all doing great. So this is a house, a French house, a French niche house. They have 15 fragrances in total. They premiered in 2015 and their whole collection features one note. Okay. Like perfumes based around one note. Okay, that's pretty cool. We have here orange, we have here Santal, we have here Tonka, we have here the amber. amber and the cedar. Yeah. Nice. So I think they're really well done. I do like the collection. These were some of my favorites. That's why I chose these. These were sent to us for review, but as always, all opinions are our own. Let's start with the one closest to me. This one is called Orange Calabria. Mm -hmm. And it's rather simple. It's really, really citrusy and really, really nice. It's a little bitter-ish, okay. kind of, because you're kind of smelling the rind as well. So it's citrus and just that little bit of the uh, peel type of thing going on. But basically, all in all, it's orange, but a really nice orange. Perhaps a little bit of woody notes going on in the background. I would agree with you there. So I know when you said that these are sort of uh, based around a singular note, mm -hmm. I don't find these to be linear. And so um, I feel like they do evolve quite a bit on the skin. Uh, but from the ones that I have tried, this does come across as the one that's the most simple. And so I do agree mm -hmm. with you there. And perhaps that's because it is based on a top note. And so the orange that you smell in here is so organic. It's so natural smelling. And this is definitely a really good contender for fragrances like um, Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne mm -hmm. and also Bigarat Concentré by Frederick Maul. And also the one from, um, nice. from wow. the Armani Privé collection. Yeah, I don't own that one, but I know You that know which one I'm talking about? I, yep. I can't remember what it is, but I'll, yep. I'll leave a footnote there if I remember. But it's a yeah. really nice orange just like this. Oh yeah, it's really bright and full of life and organic smelling. And so if you want something that smells very naturally of orange, that's definitely one to check out. And for me, citrus fragrances uh, make me happy. <laughs> yeah. I usually, when it's a citrus heavy or citrus dominant fragrance, I usually say that it's happy yeah. or happiness in a bottle and that's what you get here. Absolutely, a little out of season, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it smells good nonetheless. This is um, Tasman Santal. Okay. Now this is a really kind of dark sandalwood. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I see what you mean. I can't help but get over like this very pleasant undercurrent of sweetness that mm -hmm. I get from this one. But just a subtle sweetness, it's not anything. Yeah, I mean, I know what you mean. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, there's that really sweet uh, Zerzhov exclusive fragrance that has like a caramel new one italica it's in mm -hmm. a red bottle and so and i love the way that that fragrance smells i haven't smelled that one really you, you got to smell it how'd you get to yeah, smell it yeah it smells really nice i have a little decant I'll, awesome. I'll let you try it in a bit but yeah it does kind of remind me of that and it's awesome so i wouldn't buy this for a uh, a santal fragrance but i would buy it for a gourmand fragrance just because it's wow it really satisfies that sweet tooth that's nice i enjoy that one these gold bottled fragrances are a little heftier than the two at the end. Oh, okay. Are For they? whatever reason, I think this is like a little bit higher collection, mm. if I'm not mistaken. So the third one's closer to you. If you'd so like I might to as well introduce it. it. This one is called Oratanka, and I'll reach for it. Personal favorite of mine. Really, is yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, I can see why you would like this. <laughs> so this one is definitely bright uh it's not as bright as the first one the orange one but you can tell it's not as base heavy as the second one that we spoke about as the tonka based fragrance i don't it has like um a designer vibe to it i'm not saying it smells mm -hmm. designer but it, it it kind of reminds me of something that 
is maybe a little bit inspired by like a woman's designer fragrance. Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> and now that you said it, kind of in the vein of like the um the coffee, they all have coffee in them. Oh like the black opium? Yes, by yes, Sunlight? yes. Uh -huh. That's what Absolutely. this is. Absolutely. That's what that falls into. Yeah, not so not suggesting that it smells designer in terms of the quality, but designer in terms of the combination of notes. As if that's something that I've smelled in a popular designer fragrance before. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that that one is really pleasant as far as it catering to my personal taste. Just myself personally, I find it to be a little too feminine, uh, but it's um, very pleasant. I would say it leans feminine. I personally don't find it too feminine. I've worn it yeah. with good results. Nice, nice. I mean, it leans feminine, but it's not like heavy flaws or anything. So like. the second to last one that we'll be discussing today is called the Umbra Cashmere. And this is... In my opinion, one of the heaviest ones that this collection has to offer mm -hmm. from the ones that I've tried, of course. And this one is definitely an amber fragrance through and through. What I like about it is that it's an amber fragrance that spotlights more of the resins and less of the mm. vanilla. I think a lot of times, especially in the case of fragrances like uh, Alambar by Laboratorio Olfativo, that one is a bit heavy on the vanilla. And so you have that undercurrent of sweetness. In the case of this fragrance, however, it's more like sharp and resinous and balsamic. This this is spicy. This yeah. is um, resinous. This is balsamic. Yeah. This is very warm. Very, very, very warm. And it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That's one that I would imagine would stick on your skin for many, many hours. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it does. Absolutely. I've worn these all and I get definitely good um, performance from them. Especially the gold bottle ones. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So this is a really nice amber. Again, to piggyback off of what Steven said, it's not a typical vanillic amber. It's more in the spicy, resinous, and balsamic type of amber. Awesome. And very oriental, despite not having vanilla. Because oriental means having vanilla. Like patchouli, vanilla, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. Some spicy notes as well. And the last one is their cedar-based offering, and this one is called Cedar Atlas. And uh, obviously, um, Atlas is the location. And so this one is definitely a cedar that is different from other cedars that I've smelled on the market. And I like the uniqueness here, but I couldn't help but think of vetiver when I first sprayed this one. And so it kind of has like this, um, uh, this almost like rugged, nice earthy too. tone <laughs> to it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Fumidus by Profumum Roma. And there's also a uh, Lorenzo Villoresi fragrance called Vetiver. And it kind of reminds me of the same opening. Excuse me, Mr. Walking for Grantica Brain. No, it's just like, you know, <laughs> there's certain... So, that is so awesome. I'm, I'm making fun, but I'm really giving you a compliment. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is a really nice woody fragrance for me. Coming off the heels of re reviewing that designer D-squared wood smelled nothing woody at all yeah i know this is woody. more like violet <laughs> <laughs> i didn't get the violet so much in that anyway this is a, a really nice woody scent it reminds me of shop class when you remember when we had shop and it was, okay yeah it was wood wood woodworking wood making whatever mm -hmm. and um that's what i get from this in a good way um some cedars can be very very spiky mm -hmm. and sharp I don't really care for those type of cedars. Like Atelier Cologne's, they have a cedar atlas, I think. Yeah, with, yeah. And I like this one way better than, than Atelier Cologne. And I'm a big fan of Atelier Cologne overall, but yeah, that one I Yeah, as am like. I. I think this one is a bit more of a realistic wood note. Whereas, even at some points, the uh, cedar atlas from um, Atelier Cologne kind of reminded me of Light Blue by mm -hmm. Dolce & Gabbana. Wow. Like when you, yeah, when you really think about it and you smell it, there is definitely a similarity there. But this one is very nicely done. I love these all, but today for some reason, this one, I, I'm really liking this a lot. Good, man. I'm glad. Put it back <laughs> it's over yours there. to keep. So um, my concluding thoughts is that there is a lot of quality in these lines. Um, I could never really compare any one of them to something that I've smelled before. If I had to pick a favorite, I would pick the orange one, uh, just because like you said, it puts me in a really, really good mood. The amber one is quite nice, but I just have to be in the mood for it. This one is perhaps a little bit too woodsy for my taste. And the second one that we smelled is really, really enjoyable as well, just because of the gourmand properties. I love this one, this is so good. My top three would be one, two, three. Oh, the first three, really? With this, yeah, this is so I nice. can smell the citrus like from here. It's it's so wow. nice. Yeah. In 
with all the notes that are, I'm wafting here, it smells really good. It kind of sticks out. Yeah. It's a really nice citrus. Thanks so much for going through this. Yeah, with my pleasure. Me for them. Thank you for sharing it with me. I have giveaways of rather large decants. I don't have them here because I didn't bring them. I forgot I'm a knucklehead. But I do have really nice size samples, like five mil, I think, of all of these to give to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, subscribe to Red Lessons. Thank you. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon to miss notifications on the reviews, the content, giveaways, and all the fragrant fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and we will see you at the next video. Bye.